my name's Jerome, right up there. Uh, I apologize, it's not my fault, it's my parents. Um, I'm Dutch, but I'm glad you have worse names than me. Um, so I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about trends, innovation, and I'm gonna give you a few examples as well uh, about what's happening in the world. Um, but firstly, I would like to thank the city, Athens, um, I would like to thank Adelina for organizing this fantastic event. And um, I want to congratulate you on your city and your country, because you're doing a fantastic job. Um, and I know there's a lot to be done, but uh, you have such a great history, you've got such a great future, so let's start with it. Um, is anybody on their phones right now? Anybody with a phone in the hand, can you put your hand up? I see one there that just dropped it. There's a young lady there with a phone in the hand. Are you twittering? No? Are you on Facebook? No. Instagram? No. Has anybody twittered today about the event? Right. Two. Wow. Three. Four. Good. Now we're talking. Twittering is important even though it's probably going to go bankrupt, it's important. Instagram is important. It's going to do a lot about your city. I've been in four cities this week. I've been in Munich, Stockholm, Paris, and where am I now? Athens, right? So, um, and uh, my company helps other companies, which is it's such a great thing. Um, and, uh, and we do innovation. Uh, but we also uh, look at the financials, we do turnarounds, we do branding. Uh, we have a lot of clients, hotels, that are looking for help um, when they're not doing so good. Restaurants, uh, restaurant concepts, um, and I can go on, but uh, I won't bore you too much. Uh, but uh, I'm going to show you, now let's see if this works. Ah, that's the company. So. Um, we are based in Copenhagen, um, Stockholm, Dubai, Mallorca, uh, where else? Soon Athens, I hope. Um, there's my details, so contact me if you need anything. Um, trends. Can someone tell me a trend? Just say something. What is a trend currently? Yeah, market trend, hair trend, uh, sunglasses. Clothes. 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 Very good one. Now let's take Donald Trump. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't a good subject, actually. But Donald Trump is a very good example of a trend. Donald Trump is someone who's extremely good on social media, extremely strong on media. He gets power because he understands the three main issues that people actually need and want and are looking for at the moment. That's our job too. In F&B and in hotels, it's the same thing. This, this little graph over here tells you about design. Now, in the restaurant business, what usually happens is we hire an architect and say, make this look fantastic. Correct? Yeah? Is that really the way it should be? No. So if you look at this, we need to understand the biggest trends. We need to understand what is going on in the world, what is interesting. And we need to take that down by going from my, micro trends to micro trends. And that is based on data. Is data available, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah, I think so. It's actually data is more accessible than it ever was, ever, on Google. Does anybody use Google? Everybody does. Um, there's data available, you know, we know exactly who comes to Athens. We know exactly who they are, we know how much they spend from hotel databases, from the airports, we know exactly what they do. So let's base it on that. Let's not do anything more with our gut feeling. Sure, we can do some of it. 
There's a guy on the phone. You're on the phone. Are you twittering? <laughs> so, I'm going to talk you through, I only got like 20 minutes and I'm already talking too, too much. This is the process of a trend. So that's a social process. There is a factor of who creates trends, because they are people as well. Um, how does it spread? So how do we know about it? And can you predict it? Because that's really important for you in FMB. How can you predict something for the future? And I know Roy is going to talk a little bit more about that. So, so this was supposed to come in with all kinds of flashes, and now it's doing PowerPoint, so it's just rolling in. Um, we need to understand changes. We need to, we need to s speak behavior. So what is going on? I mean, for example, um, we just had a coffee here, or we tried to get a coffee um, at the main cafe over here, and it was closed until 6 o'clock. I was like, okay, maybe you don't understand the coffee behavior very well. Could be. Um, those are the biggest trend spreaders. Artists. Painters. They talk. They meet. They network. Do we do that very well? Not sure. Gay men, young people like me. Oh, it says under the age of 30. Wealthy people, they spread it. So talk to these people, invite them. When you're having a launch, these are the people you need to speak to. And how does it spread? Social events, of course, also online, Facebook events, all kinds of stuff that goes on, networking, music, what else is there? Mouth to mouth is a very good way of spreading germs, but also good news. Um, a lot of marketing, uh, there is so much that is online av available right now. Take TripAdvisor. Who uses TripAdvisor here? I mean, when I go to a hotel nowadays, and mind you, when it, People book a hotel before they go there. Over 90% of people actually look at the website. Okay? That's a lot of people. So the website is extremely important. Um, TripAdvisor, just as important. Because that's where people are commenting about your service, about your design. You know how much you can learn from data? It's unbelievable. And it's readily available. We're just not using it. Um, guests that come to your restaurant, and we asked them, and we spoke to them, what did you think today? You know, what should we have on the menu? Is the pricing correct? Okay? Social media, I mean, do we have to even speak about it? Some of the European countries, when you just send one product to one blogger, it's out there. Everybody starts wearing it. That's why I have these shoes on. And then something you need to watch is, like I said, I've been into large cities today. Don't stay here. Even though Athens is absolutely amazing, don't stay here. Look at what's going on in other cities, other resorts, other F&B outlets, but also other industries. Try and understand other industries. Take Porsche, for example. Porsche sales was going down for quite a while. And they thought, you know what, it's actually really strange. All our buyers are men. So let's do one with a nice Yves Saint Laurent or whatever brand it was, Christian Dior, pink um, outfit in the car, you know, like a seat and everything. Do you think the trend changed? Do you think more female buyers? No. It was just more men buying it for their women. <laughs> it worked. Okay, Starbucks. Who knows Starbucks? Who's been to a Starbucks? Who's been there more than once? Okay, I need some activity over here. Who's been to Starbucks? Come on, hands up. Who's been to Starbucks? Yeah, there we go. 
Who loves Starbucks? No one. <laughs> Who wants to be the owner of Starbucks? No one. There we go. Starbucks has done something right. You know, if you if you look back at these four, you know, trend analysis that I did, they got it right. They've listened. They've looked. They looked at your behavior, and maybe we all kind of hate it, but we all really want to go there because it's cool. It's the place to be. You want to sit there. You want to listen to their music. You want to eat their cakes. You know, it's it works. They have over twenty thousand stores. I definitely want to be the owner of that. Exactly. So now I'm going to give you a fantastic example of our industry. So another question for the crowd here. That bedroom over there, you know, top left, is that a Hilton or a Sheraton? It starts flashing and then nothing comes up, so I have to tell you, that's a Hilton. Okay? That bedroom over there. Hilton or Sheraton? Sheraton. See any difference? No. Oh. Now the restaurant, this one over here. Is that a Redison SAS or Redison Blue? Or is it a Sheraton? Does it really matter? Because it all looks the same, right? How exciting. So I'm coming all the way from Orlando. And I'm going to stay in one of those places, and it all looks the same. Fantastic. It's wonderful. Doing exactly what I don't want. Here's some current trends. Really important. Green. You know, it's all green. Long beards in Europe. A lot of Greeks already have long beards, but that's definitely a trend. Floral dresses for the ladies. Totally. Going local, same concept, but in a lot of different places. Big trend. When there is success, big trend. And the last trend I want to talk to you about is freedom. Okay? Freedom is the biggest trend. We need to understand freedom. It's disappeared, but you got freedom, right? People want to think and say what they want. They don't want any boss to tell them, this is how you have to do it. No, I have an idea and I need to implement it. Okay? Freedom is extremely important. It's one of the biggest trends, and you can do whatever you want to create success, just as long as you implement it. And that's why I want to talk to you a little bit more about innovation. How much time have I got? You're almost oh, half time. That's good. Good, good. Now, innovation. Is also something. Does anybody know what innovation is? Where do we find innovation? All around us. Actually, the people in the room here, your your employees, they come with the best ideas. They see everything. They hear everything. They speak to guests. Listen to them. You know, find their ideas. There's so much potential. But I'll give you some more examples. This is innovation. Yeah? There's always one winner. Well, let's see what the next one is. That's definitely innovation. Should have been used yesterday. Really went. How about this? Meat free meatballs. Apparently, it's their best seller. Yeah, meat-free meatballs. There we go. How about this? Rather than serving that nasty cup of coffee, why not serve it like this? Elegant. People will pay for it. There's a, I have a client right now, it's called Cappuccino in Mallorca, and they're extremely nice, fine coffee. Um, restaurant almost. You don't have tablecloth, whatever. Now in Spain you can get a cup of coffee for 50 cents. Why would you pay three and a half euros and get the service? People are paying it and they found a niche. So 
Innovation is a number of steps. It's the discovery, like I said, there is a creative process, listening, getting ideas. Not every idea works, absolutely not. But if you don't listen, it won't happen. And I spoke uh, just now to a couple of guys outside and they had, they had some fantastic challenges. Um, I know you shouldn't have spoken to me. <laughs> and uh, you know, they said exactly right. You know, we have so many ideas, the hardest part is the implementation. So what if you follow this process? You know, you do the discovery, you validate the customer, you see if there is a customer, you test it. You know, is there a customer for my product or my service? And if not, create it. Create a customer. Airbnb, um, does anybody know Le Pen Quotidien by the way? It's, it's an interesting concept. It's, uh, it started in Brussels quite a while ago. And it's a franchise concept, you know, healthy food, biological bread, you know, all that kind of stuff. And they created all that that we already have. There's only one difference, is that every restaurant has a communal table. So you sit together with other people, so you actually have to talk to other people. Imagine that. You think we want to do that? Absolutely. Absolutely. We're quite social people. And then you set a vision, you calculate, you know, is this actually worth it? And then the biggest part is the implementation. And this is something that we're also extremely bad at in our industry. We forget to implement things. We forget, you know, after the testing part, we forget that an idea can actually deliver some financial results and maybe even get satisfaction. So I wanted to give you a quick overview. Does anybody know Blue Ocean? Okay. Blue Ocean, I'm, I'm really not getting any reactions. It's like being in Finland. You know, is, is everybody okay? We're talking too much? Yeah. <laughs> so Blue Ocean is something that I would love you to Google. Blue Ocean is not placing an existing product in an existing market. It's placing an existing or a new product into a market that you're shaping yourself. Okay? So that means that you're not competing because you have something unique. You have something disruptive. It's called disruptive innovation. You bring out something that you attract a new market for. And that's very possible with our industry. And that's one of the last slides I want to show you. 25 hours hotels. Okay? It is a German hotel chain. And they have listened. They've looked at behavior. They understood what was going on. They've localized every hotel. So take one in, 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 uh, in Berlin, for example. It's next to the zoo. So you have the monkey bar, uh, you know, you have everything is related to the zoo. There's a bike in the room, there's third party sales. Imagine that. So no more sales from the mini bar, they're actually putting some jewelry out every night that you can buy. Um, they have soap, which is, uh, which is called uh, Don't... I can't remember what it's called. Um, don't turn off the tap or don't turn on the tap while you're washing or something like that. You know, they have created something very, very different, very disruptive. So they're using the locality that we just saw was one of the trends. Um, they're using affiliates. They're using a wine cellar from outside online where you can keep your wine, store your wine, see what wines you have. You can pick it up. It's amazing. There's so much going on. It's all about art. And then they have some sustainability in there with you know, the water that they're saving, um, they're, creating, they're giving it to uh, uh, Nepal. So um, that is different. That is extremely different. So I want to leave you now, because I know the other guys are really eager to speak to. Um, think about it. I mean, really think about it. You know, how can I create something that is different? How can I implement it? 
and how can I market it? You know, how can I do this with digital marketing, online? What is, and there's so much going on. Be different, dare to be different. And that's my last quote. That's a very old ship. Um, and a ship in a harbor is safe, but that's really not why ships were built. Thank you so much.